Hi, I'm Dr. John O'Shea, and I'm co-founder of Good Pharma Dermatology. Good Pharma Dermatology is the company that has commercialized Subam. Subam is a range of products for people with eczema, psoriasis, and sensitive skin. A couple of years ago, Good Pharma Dermatology was looking for opportunities within the consumer health space. We could have started from scratch and developed our own idea, but there were two challenges to that. Number one is the time taken to develop an idea. In fact, if I take a step back further, number one is actually having the idea in the first place. The other issue is the cost of that research and development. So for us to be able to partner or license in a technology and idea that had already been developed, that for us was very attractive as a small company. I think the first step in any negotiation is to understand the other party. So you need to do a little bit of due diligence to try to understand their motives, what they're looking to get out of it, and their position before you start. The next thing I would say is you need to look really closely at the terms that are being negotiated to understand the risks for your company within that. And finally, I would advise being pragmatic because sometimes we can't get everything the way we want it. So we have to balance the benefits for our company against the risks for our company and decide if this agreement is right for us or not. The first thing any company should do is look very carefully at the commercial terms when they're negotiating the licensing agreement. Typically, these will be in the form of maybe a royalty and are an upfront payment. And you really have to look at the future potential of this IP and say, can I make money when still paying these royalties and upfront fees? There is a second consideration, and that is whether the licensor can actually add value to your product. In our case, the answer was a very clear yes, because the National Skin Center carries great credibility as a dermatology institution. So when we launched a product for skincare, we were able to leverage that credibility. So the very core of the company is the know-how that we license from the National Skin Center. Somebody that would have credibility in the minds of consumers. Because after all, the consumer health space is already very crowded and difficult to launch a new product in. And in this phase of our expansion, what is most important for us is to protect the name and the brand name Subban. And this means that we have been trademarking the brand and the logo future markets. 